So what do you hear? Hmm? What word do you hear? Something funny. Something funny. What word do you hear? I'm saying it again. So do you hear the word? What do you hear? Um, funny. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's turtle of coca. You know what's a turtle? Let me show you how a turtle looks like. Okay, like this. Can you show me a turtle with your hands? Yeah. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're very good. Yeah. Oh, some people like to do it this way. Yeah? Well, the turtle of Coca. This is the story. See, long, long time ago, so long ago, it was at a time where people, if they wanted food, they would have to go and hunt for food. They couldn't call grab. They couldn't go to the supermarket to get food. They had to hunt for food. And they would hunt big animals, small animals, animals that flew or animals that crawled on the ground, animals that were fast and animals that were slow, like turtle of coca. No, to catch Turtle of Coca was an honor because Turtle of Coca, when you cook it, it becomes Turtle Stew. And Turtle Stew was delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Turtle Stew was exotic. Turtle Stew was fit for kings and queens. So there was a young man on his first hunting trip, he decided he would hunt for the turtle of coca. Can you say turtle of coca? Turtle of coca. Well done. Turtle of coca. <laughs> <laughs> well, he went hunting, he looked here, he looked there, and he saw it. <gasps> it was big. It was heavy. <gasps> Oh, and he carried back back to his village. And the villagers are coming to see that turtle. <laughs> come, come, come. Come, take the seats here. Yeah, the chair here, the pink chair. You can change the blue. Come here, closer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he found that big, he found that big turtle, he brought it back to the village. Everybody looked at it. The men, when they looked at it, they were excited. The women, when they looked at it, they thought of all the recipes they had, especially they thought of the recipe of turtle stew. And the children, when they looked at it, they marveled at the pattern on the shell of the turtle. But in everyone's mind was yummy, 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 delicious turtle stew. Then someone said, uh, how are we going to kill it? We need to kill it. Hmm. The men thought. The women thought. And the children thought. Then there was a voice that said, hey, why don't we use a knife? We will use that knife to peel Oh, immediately, Turtle of Coca stuck out his head and his legs. Shh, 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 shh. Then he jumped on his hind feet and began to dance and sing. Turtle of Coca, hot, hot shell. Turtle of Coca, hot, hot shell. Turtle of Coca, hot, hot shell. Knife owner, can't hurt me. Knife owner, can't hurt me. Huh? Knife? Can't hurt turtle? 
Kevin Toto took back his head, retracted his head. And the people, the men, they thought. The women, they thought. The children, they thought. Hmm, what can we use to kill turtle? And then somebody thought of this thing. What do you think it's called? Ah, oh, yes. Yep. Somebody said hammer. Oh, we can use the hammer and smash his shell. Can you show me how you would smash something with a hammer? Oh, oh, that's a strong one. How would you do it? Oh, oh, on you? Oh, you'll be, you be very gentle about it, right? Will you? Will you? <laughs> oh, oh, they were excited. But then the turtle, he stuck out his head again and and jumped on his two hind legs and began to dance and to sing. Hammer, oh hammer, can't hurt me. Hammer, oh hammer, can't hurt me. Oh, you think hammer actually can hurt turtle? What do you think? No, no, no. Well, actually, Toto was bluffing. Um, hammer will really be very, very painful for Toto. But shh, shh, Toto was bluffing. And then so the men thought, the women thought, the children thought. And then somebody said, why don't we use a saw? We'll see. Can you help me? We'll saw the turtle. Uh oh. Right away, turtle stuck out his head and his legs. And then jumped onto his hind legs and began to dance and sing. You think you can sing together with me now? No. No. Come on, turtle, coca, hot, hot shell, turtle, coca, hot, hot shell, turtle, coca, hot, hot shell. I like the funny one. Saw, oh, saw, oh, cut on me. Saw, oh, saw, oh, cut on me. Oh, saw cannot hurt the turtle. <laughs> mm. So the men, they. And the women, they? And the children, they? And then there was a boy's voice. Actually, it was the young man who was hunting, who hunted. And he said, Hey, I think we can drown the turtle in the water, drown the turtle in the river. And when he's drowned and dead, he'll float up and then we can make turtle stew from it. I like to get soon. <laughs> so turtle, when he heard that, oh, he stuck out his head and his legs. And then he jumped up and danced. Oh, this is how he sang this time. Water coca, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> when the men, then women, and the children heard that, oh, that's what we'll do. We'll throw him into the river. And so together they carried turtle. Oh, it was so heavy. And they walked, walk, 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 walk to the river. And together they tossed the turtle. And he fell splash into the river. And then the dad began to sink. And sink. And sink. And sink. To the bottom of the river. And when he was at the bottom of the river, he stuck up his head. And he began to swim. He moved his flippers and swam up to the surface of the water of the river. And then he looked at the men and the women and the children all waiting there. And he sang his song. 
Water coca is my home. Water coca is my home. Water coca is my home. Water of coca, that's my home. You think you can sing together with me? Yes. Water coca is my home. Water coca is my home. Water coca is my home. Water coca, that's my home. And then, like you said, Toto swam away, far away, and he never appeared again. So that's the story of Turtle of Coca. <laughs> okay, speaking of turtle, I'm going to show you a turtle for my next story. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Mm -hmm. That's why I said you should sit in front. Oh, what's that? What is this? It's a lighthouse. Who is this? Hello, hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, mommy. He's waving to you. Actually, this turtle is a she turtle. Mm -hmm. Well, this happened. This is a, something that happened long, long ago. But not that long ago, like the first story, in 2018. Well, one day, a turtle, this turtle, swam in the ocean and came upon an island. Oh, I found that the island was very clean and quiet. It was late at night, and that quiet night, under the glow of the moon, you know how at night you can see the moon? Yeah? And anything else that you can see? Yes, the stars. The stars. But this place, she, Turtle could see the, club, the stars very clearly. Not like in Singapore. Because in Singapore, because of the street lights, the city lights, sometimes it's so bright, you can't really see the stars. But on this island, Turtle could see the stars so well. And Turtle found it very quiet. So quiet that all he could hear was... He didn't hear, or she didn't hear people talking away, but could hear the wind. Anybody wants to try to hold this? Yeah. Okay, you've got to be very slow, then you can get the wave. Okay, I let Liam try first. Slow. Yep. This way. Oh, that really sounds like the wave. Okay, let your brother try. Slowly, slowly. Yes, and this one? Okay, thank you. Would you like to try it? No? Would you like to try it? <laughs> oh. Wow, Toto could hear the waves, see the stars and the moon. And the best thing was, there's no rubbish, no trash, no, no bottle cats, no litter on the beach. <gasps> Great! This is going to be the place where I will lay my eggs! <sighs> and Toto began to use the flippers to dig. These are the flippers. To kick the sand out and dig and dig and dig. Because Toto was going to dig a deep hole for the egg. Yes! <sighs> so nice! Uh oh! I think I see two persons. Uh-oh. And so from far, Toto could see. Uh-oh. <gasps> One. Two. Oh, no. Are these two persons going to harm my eggs? Are they going to steal my eggs? Oh. I'd like to go somewhere else, but, but I'm too tired to swim to another island. Oh, I'll just lay my eggs here. And in that hole, 
turtle began to lay eggs. It wasn't just one egg, not 10 eggs, not 50. And sometimes it was 100. So can you imagine? Would it be a short time, a long time for a turtle to lay the eggs? It's a long, 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 long time, isn't it? Oh, th the whole night. So turtle lay there. Mm. And after that long night, the eggs, she laid all of them. And then she began to move her flippers to bury her eggs because she didn't want anyone to find the eggs. She didn't want any animal to dig up the eggs. So she had to move all the sand back, cover that properly. Oh, by then she was so tired. Oh, you know, I must leave this place quickly because the longer I stay here, animals or even people like them would know that my eggs are right where I'm standing. I have to say goodbye to my eggs. And so Turtle began to move towards the ocean. It was tiring for Turtle. Yeah. And when she got there, right before she went to swim, she looked back and then she saw the two men. They began to walk over to where she lay her eggs. And she saw that the two men put a fence around the eggs. Oh, so she swam away. She was very happy. Oh, I think those two men are going to protect my eggs. Oh, I'm glad they're not going to take away my eggs. Bye-bye. And she waved and then she swam away. Now these two men is Uncle Lee and Arun. Both of them work here, where the lighthouse is. See, on this island, which is also called Pulau Satumu, which means One Tree Island, there is a lighthouse. And that lighthouse had to be kept clean. And the light must always be shining. So Uncle Lee and Arun were there working to take care of the lighthouse. That was their job. Now, looks like they have a second job. What do you think? What's their second job? To look after? Eggs. Yep. Yeah. Uncle Lee was very excited. Oh, you know what? I think we had better call the N Parks and MPA, the Maritime Port Authorities. Oh yes, we don't know how to look after these eggs. Yeah, we need help. And so they called and they found out. Ah. They found out that the eggs took, would take 60 days to hatch. So they had to look after the eggs for how many days? 60 days. Mm -hmm. That's almost like two months. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Then we will take turns because we still have to look after our lighthouse. So we'll take turns to check on the turtle eggs. You see, what would harm the turtle eggs? Lizards or crabs that would dig, 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 dig and find the eggs. So the fence must be there. And so they took turns. Sometimes it was Arun, sometimes it was Uncle Lee. And sometimes the both of them, because when there was a heavy rain, can you show me rain? Can you make the sound of rain? And a very heavy one. And the sea waves became so, became so strong and the winds would blow the fence away. Uncle Lee and Arun would have to go and get a new fence for it. So they made sure the eggs were protected. Soon, 60 days were up. And then they saw, oh, that the sand started moving. The eggs are going to be hatched. So the national parks, the people from national parks and the people from MPA, Maritime Port Authorities, they came. And even the TV reporters with their cameras and, and uh, equipment wanted to look. And indeed, everybody looked and they were shining their torchlight. Uncle Lee said, stop, don't shine your torchlight. 
they will, it will confuse the little turtles because they need to swim to the ocean. So they waited quietly. Soon, little by little, and this is when I need your help. Can I get one by one? You to help me? Can you help two little turtles to come and face the sea? Move it up here. Face the sea. Yes, thank you. And you can go and sit down. And you? Come. Yeah, you come. You can take two and move them. You wait first. Just wait. Yep. Yeah. Must face the sea. Make sure the turtles face the sea. Very good. Very good. Okay, your turn. Come over here. Yeah. Pick up the turtles and make sure they face the sea. Very good. Very good. And you, come. Yeah, take two turtles. Yeah, and line them up to face the sea. And one more, one more. Very good. Wow. And one by one, these turtles appear from under the sand and then begin to crawl towards the sea. Oh, and they counted one, two, three. You know how many they counted that day? They counted 44. Everyone was very happy because they helped to protect and take care of these 44 babies as they went towards the sea. And in the sea, they would slowly grow and become bigger and bigger turtles. Well, let me tell you what kind of turtles they were. They were hawksbill turtles. And they're very special in the whole wide world because they're endangered, meaning many of them are killed or they die and there are very, very few left. So that's why Uncle Lee and Arun were very glad to be able to see them and to help these babies survive. So they hope, they hope that Mother Turtle would come again to visit the island, Pulau Satumu. They hope Mother Turtle would lay eggs again and they would definitely protect the little turtles. So that's the story of, well, I would say it's Turtle Haven or Raffles Lighthouse, which is the book that you have there. Yeah. And um, this is a Raffles Lighthouse. In Singapore, there are a few lighthouses. You can uh, view them later on with the children. Behind this uh, wall is over on the other side. You can actually see the other ones. And so for our craft today, we're going to do a lighthouse. So wait, I must thank all of you for listening to the story. Thank you very much. Oh, decorate your cup first. Like what I've done here. So you can do it in many different ways. Because lighthouses nowadays, uh, they don't necessarily have, necessarily have the stripes, red and white or even black and white, to contrast against the sea and, and uh, uh, the sky. Um, sometimes they have different designs. Sometimes they have spiral kind of designs. Um, I've seen one that has got diamond shapes, you know, diamonds like this on the lighthouse. So it's up to you. You can do any kind of designs, draw windows, draw doors on your lighthouse.